On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a website just like Behance, but that you can really custom design whatever way you want in Webflow in just a few minutes. Everybody, what's up? Uh, I got an email last week from somebody asking me how to create the Behance effect. And in Behance effect, what he actually meant is that kind of a portfolio with a grid of items that when you click, you get a pop up of the project. And this is, you've probably seen this. So this is Behance. You click on a project, it loads up in kind of a, a pop up that you can just close and move on to the next item. And you're not really navigating into a different page, or at least that's how the experience feels like. And I was like, yeah, sure, you can do that that in Webflow in like five minutes. And I try to explain how to do this, but this was over on e email. So I just want to show you because I really think this would take between five and 10 minutes to create a website like this. So let me show you. I'm not going to try to make it pretty as uh, this. I'm just going to create it really fast so you can understand the logic of how I'm thinking about this. So let me start out a new project. Uh, I'm going to start from blank because I never start with uh, templates. So let me call the Haynes uh, website and uh, I can't even spell correctly when I'm working fast, but whatever. Um, so first thing I'd like to do is set up the CMS, kind of like the structure of the database. And uh, we do have some like project as a starter point, which includes name, product details, probably not going to need all of them, but um, let me just start with this because this is just a demo. And uh, let me generate like 20 items. Um, this is really great functionality that you can start with something just so you can design even if it's not the final content yet. So now we have like 20 projects. That's awesome. Basically, let me set up the page this way. You have kind of a header and then you have the grid here. So let me start with a section. Let's call this header. Um, let's make this kind of like black and uh, with white type and uh, throw inside let's center this and throw inside a title a heading maybe ron's ron's b haynes website that's great and then basically we throw in the collection list which is basically all the items in our project so now we have them here we just want to turn this into a grid so i'm just going to go to the list and call this grid list and I'm going to use the new greet feature, um, which is pretty awesome. You can set up how many columns you want, and you can also make this dynamic, like number of column based on how big your screen is. This looks pretty well. Um, let me just space this up a little bit. This looks good. Now, because I want them to be clickable, um, I'm going to put inside. So the way this works, you probably know, um, whatever I put in this one item is going to appear in all of them. And so, and the, the content is just dynamic. So I'm going to put, let's put, um, a link block here so that we can actually click it. We'll call this uh, image block and, um, make sure it's 100% of the size of the block and maybe 200 pixels high. Let's see. I have it here. Where is the image block? Okay, it should be here. All right, and uh, so now we have this block which is exists everywhere. I'm gonna give it a dynamic background from the uh, project. So bang, now we have all our projects appear. So now this is clickable. Now we can click this, but obviously nothing happens. So what I do wanna do is inside each item kind of hide a little pop-up. So the way I'll do that is I'll throw in another one here, another div, which I'll call the way I structure pop up is I call this pop up background and, um, and I make it a fixed position so that we can do it all over, like use this, um, the full screen and give it kind of like a black background, maybe with a little bit of opacity here. Um, so now we have the background. We just need to pull in the window. So let's throw in another div. We'll call this pop window. Um, we'll make the background here white and uh, give it some size, maybe like 70% of the width. And uh, for height, this will be dynamic. To center this, I'm going to turn the background into a flex box, obviously. And uh, let's give it a little bit of a radius color just to make it nice. Now, this, because this pop up 
is inside the item and it's dynamic, everything I put in here, so let's put a heading maybe, um, we can choose the dynamic content from the CMS. So let's make this the product name, the project name, and maybe let's put in an image just for this quick demo. Um, let's do the main image. Let's do the CMS image and uh, just make it a little bit smaller, maybe like 500 pixels. Um, but whatever, maybe we can use it this way. So basically this is how the project will look like. The only thing that we're missing in this pop-up is kind of a close button. So um, outside of the window, let's put in another link block and we'll call this one close button, close button. And um, the way that I'll do this, just because I'm very lazy, is I'll make a white text and uh, just throw inside an X because, uh, hey, we're lazy here, right? Let's make the text slider. So this is going to be the close button, but we want to position it at the right corner. So let's turn the position into absolute and pick the right corner. Um, yeah, this looks rather well. All right, so now we need to add the interactions. And because we have the pop-up open, let's start. It's easier to start with the close interaction. So I'm going to pick this and add a click interaction here and start a new animation. Let's call this close pop-up. And what this animation does is it chooses this pop-up background and then uh, it animates the opacity down to zero half a second sounds good and when it's over I also want to hide it so we're gonna uh, change the display setting to none so that we can actually click other things here so this animation is done but those are still by default open so let's go back here and set it this background as uh, the pop-up by default, let's set it down to uh, display none and opacity zero, just so that we can animate from that. So now what we want to do is add the uh, click interaction here. So we're going to choose this one, add a click animation to it, and start a new animation and call this show pop-up. All right, so now we have show pop-up, and because this interaction is on this image block and we want to animate this one pop background so let's start with i always start with setting up the kind of like um, initial setting so even though we've set it to uh, none i'm going to do this again here i'm going to set the initial state to display none and opacity zero i, I always find this helpful even though i've already done that and now so after those initial settings and this is set to only siblings, so this makes sense. What I will do is change the display setting to flex. So this is the first interaction. And also, oh, here the, this should be zero so that we can animate the opacity. So let's do opacity 100, duration half a second. This should work. So. Let's test this. All right, it works. We close this, it works. All right, check this out. I'm looking at the camera. We're eight minutes into this video and I've talked a bunch at the beginning. So I've basically set up this portfolio really, really quickly in less than eight minutes. Obviously now you can start iterating on the design, iterating on the interaction. This can animate in, this can do basically whatever you want to do. From now on, the ground is open for you to really customize this. The interaction can go up, can scale, you know, the way that this grid looks like, you know, now you, you decide, wait, let me close this up. We're still in the interaction. Now you can really do whatever you want to do. So you say, oh, let me uh, create some whatever radius corners on this portfolio, or let me change the grid. Let me edit the grid here um, because I want to give a little bit more padding or spacing to the images, right? This is, you're not limited to working within the template of Behance or anything else. You can just do here whatever you want to do um, because it's fully customized. All right, I hope this was helpful, at least for the person who asked me the question, how you create basically dynamic pop-ups within Webflow. And uh, for all of you who may, might have found this because I went 
too quickly. If you want to learn, um, I do have a course teaching designers how to use Webflow to build websites super fast and efficiently and profitably, obviously, because that's why we do it. Um, you can check the link in the description to my Webflow Masterclass. And I'll see you on the next video.